Today is April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day. Um, we're about seven full days from the Easter holiday and I am planning a, an Easter lunch. And the first way I get started is to get inspired. It, it doesn't matter how many times I've thrown a holiday meal. I still, still need to get um, really, really motivated visually. And I start with books. I have a lot of beautiful picture books. This one at French Country Cottage Inspired Gatherings by Courtney Allison. It's all beautiful, genuinely inspirational photos for um, table settings and food. She uses a lot of um, just natural elements that, um, that I like to use as well. So I'm adequately excited. And we all know what a party is. A party is people, it's food, it's drink, it's a beautiful table setting. Um, but I've been thinking a lot about my why. Why do I want to host parties time and time again? And it's it's one of the ways that I, I love uh, my family and friends. Everybody, everyone we know is going through something, it seems. And so <clears throat> I love to offer a day where people can come and gather and I love to provide a place of joy, of comfort and of pleasure. And so that's, that's what gets me excited. I'm adequately inspired. And next is planning the menu. Again, nobody wants a grumpy host that's just worn out by the time everybody gets there. And so, I, I do a lot ahead of time, the menu planning at least a week ahead of time, and I keep it simple. And then I find recipes that I can make ahead. Typically the dessert can be made ahead, side dishes can be made ahead. And I like an easy um, meat protein. For Easter, I'm gonna stick with a ham. And I love these little note cards because the first note card I do is the menu. And then the next note cards are where I break up the, my grocery list into where I'm gonna procure uh, the different groceries. So Easter, and then I will keep, I will keep this card um, in a file for next year and I'll write, I'll write on it um, so I can keep kind of a record. So Easter 2023, and then I'm gonna start with ham, baked ham. And then I have a lot of tried and true cookbooks. I write all over my cookbooks so that I can remember <laughs> what I've done because I forget. But I thought of like a potato gratin would be really good with the ham. And here it is, um, potato fennel gratin. I wrote incredible Easter 2017. So I'm gonna do the ham and then the potato fennel gratin. And again, there's only maybe seven ingredients here. This can be made um, up to three days ahead of time, super easy. And then baked off right before the guests arrive. And I'm also gonna do um, roasted asparagus. And that's it, that's the dinner menu. For appetizers, I think I'm gonna do deviled eggs and uh, maybe some champagne and then a dessert. And again, that dessert, if I can make that dessert four or five days out, even easier, it just breaks up the, um, the, the effort over a course of several days, which is really ideal. There's just never any, um, there's never too much work involved. The other thing that um, I'm going to do is today I'm doing a table mock-up a week out. I like to figure out all those things, make sure that everything's clean. Um, sometimes uh, stemware, for instance, can, can pick up dust. So I just pull everything out. I'm gonna um, set up the, 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 um, the food setting as far as like what service where I'm gonna use. I'm gonna set all that out, make sure that's all clean and ready and get that behind me. So really, 
When I was in my 30s, I, I didn't like the idea of something like time management being the driving force behind a, a, a dinner party. It seemed very clinical. I always thought parties were whimsical and fun, but I've learned that time management is the thing that creates whimsy and fun for the hosts. So this is all about time management, but it, it sets me free to think, to imagine, to dream and to play. And that's why I think I do it over and over and over again, because it's such a pleasurable experience um, for me. And that just comes through to, to my loved ones. I found a little friend here. The table mock-up's done. Now I'm gonna set up the island for service wear and uh, create a little decor. Okay, so the mock-up is done and I'm excited. Uh, cannot wait for this party. I'm super motivated. Um, a lot of the hard work is already done. One of the reasons why I like to do this ahead of time is I went with the dark charger, which really kind of was antithetical to what I thought would work on an Easter table, but I only have six, so I've already ordered more gave myself plenty of time, so they'll be here in just a few days. Also, in um, three days before Easter, I'm gonna go ahead and make the centerpiece in this covered vegetable and a few other fun, uh, a few other fun items, including a tres leches cake. Back to the table, also, I did decide I'm gonna serve a salad, just a, a light spring mix salad and I uh, decided to put some antique dishes over my beautiful spode woodland. And that way, once the salad plates are lifted, everybody gets a little fun surprise. They're all different. It's another fun talking point um, just for table talk. But they're cute because there are bunnies and foxes and all kinds of wonderful spring animals. So that's it. We're going to fill these little baskets with some fun goodies as well. So this has been really fun. See you next time.